Hello fellow Ark survivors and welcome to day 3 of my modded Ark survival series. Buckle up because in today's episode we wear a cape, we attempt to tame an Ankylosaurus and we create a brand new base. If you find yourself enjoying today's video don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below your favourite part and why not subscribe. It's completely free and a great way to support me. Now join me for a wild ride survivors and let's dive headfirst into the heart pounding adventures awaiting us in Ark Survival Ascended. Hello ladies and gentlemen it has been a while hasn't it? It's been about a month since the last episode. <laughs> I've been busy building what can I say let me turn off these torches. That's better and as you can see I have done some work since the last episode. I haven't been doing nothing. I have made some improvements, one of them being the wall going around. Let me show you the wall if I get on my tame. As you can see, there is a wall going around the entire little tiny hut that we made last episode. Just to, you know, keep the bad dinosaurs out. I didn't want to log off to find all my dinosaurs dead. So this was a safety precaution. A safety precaution with a hidden secret door. Look at this. You can just easily get out and in. I felt like it was a good idea in case, you know, I'm getting chased. I'm like, oh no, Raptor, get me in. And then I'm in. Bam. Um, the other thing that happened is I tamed a few trikes. These trikes were all babies just outside my base. Uh, their mums had died. And I just thought, you know what, why not? And they're not bad levels either. Let me get my HUD back on. There we go. 87, 90, 95. Not too shabby. We still got Billy on the street. And of course our Therizinosaur we never named. So let's name him now. Let's call him Dr. Tickle. That's an appropriate name for him I think. And I can't remember if we tamed this Patchy together. Um, but it was just a baby. And when there's a baby I have to grab it. If there's a free baby going I'll take it. There's no reason why I wouldn't. Um, and the sad news is, is we had a cat. If you remember, I got a cat last episode. Um, Mimi, she isn't dead, but I think she is. I'm not actually entirely sure. So I'm pretty sure she's dead. Every time I log in, she's no longer here with us. <laughs> and I, But I don't think I've got a death notification. And the, the other day when I came on and I looked over here... Her name popped up in the ground, like deep underneath the ground, somewhere down here. I feel like she fell through the map somehow. Um, but she's living her best life down there somewhere, is what I like to think. Is there a way I can see all my tames? Oh, here we go. Okay, is she there? Oh, oh, there. Mimi, track. Where is she? Tracking? Am I track? Oh, there's a... There's a thing. Let's quickly see what's in here. Boring. 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 But we'll take it. Okay, so on the tracking info here, it says she's here. Like, she's alive? But where? Does this tell us where she is? Hello, Mimi? Mimi. Okay, the objective we're going to do today is find Mimi. But I think she's under the ground. Is that is that Mimi there? That is Mimi in front of us. Okay. Mimi is deep underground. <laughs> um, yeah, we're never getting our cat back. That is so sad that she's... I've never seen an animal fall through the world before. Okay, I just turned my UI back on. That helps. And yeah, she's down there, deep underground. Maybe if I pick this up. And this up. <gasps> Mimi! Oh my god, she's not even underground. She's right here. Oh, Mimi, I thought you were dead. I've literally been a month without you, Mimi. What the hell? Oh my god, she's been there the whole time. I honestly thought she was dead. Okay, well, that's amazing. I literally cannot believe this, Mimi. How did you get under there, number one? And number two, how are you still alive? How's your food going? Food's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just pump her health, I guess. This is how long it's been. I had all those levels put in. What else can we do? Stamina, oxygen. 
Oh, Mimi, the whole time you were just hiding. You were playing your little games, and now we're back together. You and me, baby. Let's go. The only other new dino is this uh, Pterodon that my friend... You know, Jake, he he gave me this. Uh, not the best dino, if I'm honest. Um, he's got very low health and very low stamina, so he's a bit useless. But he's got all this fertilizer in him, which, uh, <laughs> which Jake gave me, so this is very useful. So, the big question for today's episode is what do we want to achieve? Now, I have added about 20 new mods to the server. I've got, I went mod crazy again. I just kept on adding them. I've added a ton of building mods that I want to try out. So, I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to find a place to build and we are going to build. Because this base over here, just not efficient enough. It's not a good base. It was. It's fine for day one, day two, which is what we've done. But we need a base that is going to be permanent. Honestly, is it crazy that I'm quite happy where I am? Maybe we just expand the base here. We've got all these rocks and trees to use here. I mean, look, we need a semi-permanent base, don't we? One that's in a safe-ish area. But the only thing is the base needs to be nice and big and not a tiny little hut, which is what we're living in. So here's the plan. We are going to stay in this area. We just need a bigger base than the hut. That's the idea. We're going to just make it, we're going to expand using some of the new mods, play around with some of the new mods, and then we can go exploring. I think I like that idea. I just want to, I just want to build. I'm in a building mood. So, you'll see that I've got a ton of new stuff here. Oh, we've got rocks. <laughs> we've got rocks we can play with. We've got mushrooms, crystals, Functional capes? Uh, functional capes? Excuse me? Cape that goes in the pet slot. Say no more. Cliffin's wardrobe? This is for clothing, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot of new mods. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, landscaping? Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but I think there's even more mods down here. There is indeed. Wall sap lighting, rustic wood, foundation, float foundation. It has the ability to float on water uh yeah okay here's the plan i'm gonna go ahead and just learn all of this stuff rope beds oh my god yes please yeah and then uh <laughs> and then we're going to build some stuff that's the plan rustic roof okay i've just gone ahead and learned a ton of stuff now the first thing i want to build without a shadow of a doubt is uh the cape i want to build the cape it here there it is okay what do i need fiber yeah i can do fiber and craft okay what on earth is this and what does it look like uh it doesn't even move it doesn't even sway it's honestly it's harder than a teenage boy's bath towel that is that is insane i hate it I hate it. Who made this mod? It was almost good. It was almost good. And if we're riding? Yeah, no. It's it's uh someone put way too much starch in this cape. It just it just doesn't flow. This isn't what I expected. We're getting rid of that. Okay, so for the rustic wood stuff, it looks like you actually need to pay a bit more for this. You need metal, 80 wood, 45 stone. But it's more resistant. I understand. It is more resistant. So it's like the next tier up on the wood. And if that's the case, we could honestly just pop over to Herbivore Island over there. And get a, what do you call it, uh, dinosaur? The Metal Gatherer? And then if we get a Metal Gatherer, we'll be able to get the metal that we need for this. And the flint. That sounds like a better idea, guys, doesn't it? I think that's what we'll do. Indecisive Lance has made a decision. So, in order to do this, we need a boat. Ta-da! Now, if we hide the sail and maybe build a little platform on here, we should be good to go. Well, uh, it's not anything pretty, but it's, uh, it's functional. I went for function over form. So, let's get our Therizina saw on here. I have got a new mod here, which is a chest mod, which adds chests, of course. If we just put this down here it just looks slightly better than a storage box i guess now we've got our bed there 
I'd say we're good to go. So let's get over to Herbivore Island and get what we want. Now I'm pretty sure that is one right there. We could just grab th one of these. In fact, there's two here. In fact, there's three here. There's so many here. This is perfect. There are sharks nearby, so we need to be careful. But let's just pop on up here and check out these levels. So we've got level 55, level 110. I think that one was level 100. Okay. This one has gone in the water. What level are you? Level 20? Don't want you. Don't want you, buddy. You just go ahead and drown right there. He really wants to come with us. I actually feel bad. He's desperate. Now, I'm not sure how to do this. My brain is telling me to make a trap. I think that's what we need to do. We need to make a trap right here. Okay, here's my little makeshift trap. They're going to come up and then drop down. That is the plan. So I need to make sure that Dr. Tickle is on passive. So he doesn't attack. Oh, who are you? Okay, well he nearly fell in. We want this guy to come up. And then we're going to run away. Here we go. Come on up. Come on up. No, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Come inside. They're not coming inside. They're just whacking my door. They're destroying... <laughs> no! I should have... Oh, no! Please stop destroying it! Come inside! Oh, no. It's breaking. Oh, dear. Well, that's not done its job. Is tactic two. I swim away again. Ooh. <gasps> it's following me. It's following me. This is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. That's it. Follow me. Over here. And now we just shoot and run. I actually don't mind if he hits Dr. Tickle. No, that's fine with me. Don't run into the water. Run the other way. Run the other way, bud. Do you want to hit me? Do you want to hit me? That's it. Come to Dada. Go down the beach. That's it. Right here is perfect. Right here. Perfect. I think it's about to sleep. Amazing. So I'm probably going to starve tame this guy. So I need to just check on the dodo decks how long it will take to starve him and put a timer on. Okay, I just looked this guy up on dodo decks. It's saying that I need to wait 56 minutes uh, for him to starve so I can put the food in and tame him. So that's going to be a bit of a wait. So I'll see you once he's all tamed up. Okay, it's all tamed up. Let's call it the Destroyer. Why? I don't know. It just came into my head. It's a pretty good level. I think we've done a pretty good job taming this thing up. Stamina's not great. How's the weight? Weight's not great either. Okay, we're going to have to level this guy up. But first, we need to take him back to base. So let me go get my raft and we'll pick him up. Right, we've got the raft. And now we just need to go to the Destroyer. And pick him up. First of all, let's get our Therazina on. And now, let's get the Destroyer. Good boy. Come on up. All the way. That isn't quite far enough. There we go. You know what? A little bit further. Okay, that will do, bud. That'll do. That was an extremely successful taming mission. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's not often that I do things competently. 
But today, we are off to a good start. Well, we are home, and we have a flint and metal collector now. We don't have a stone collector. If we had a stone collector, we'd be set. Now, I did add a new dino into the game that's more of a starter stone collector that's meant to spawn on the beaches, but I haven't seen one. Okay, it looks like I need metal ingots to make uh, the saddle. So, let's see if we've got any already. Aha, we do. In fact, we can make this straight away by the looks of it. So, Anklo saddle. There we go. Perfect. Let me put this on you. And let's take you for a ride. Let's see how much you can collect. Your weight really seems bad, if I'm honest. <laughs> Your weight does seem bad. But we can start to level it up now. I feel like we need a bodyguard just in case. So Dr. Tickle is going to need to come with us. Come here, Dr. Tickle. We're going on an adventure. Very, very slowly going on an adventure. Okay, so let's see how much metal we get. 10. Okay. We are off to a good start. Oh, he does collect stone as well. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he just collected flint. Okay, we actually have a fair amount of metal and a ton of flint. So, if I collect some wood now, we should be able to make these new structures. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, it's been about a day since I last spoke to you. <laughs> the reason that is is because I have been a very busy boy. I have been making, crafting, and gathering all the materials to make the new base. It's all in here. Look at this. We've got all the rustic wood foundations we could ever need. Walls, stairs, roofing. Even a bit of glass that I managed to make. Uh, some vases, or jars rather. And I've also got some stuff in here, like ropes, that I wanted to try out. I don't really know what they do. Just a few bits and bobs. So, let's hope that this is going to be enough to make a base. I really hope it is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go around gathering again, which I don't really want to do. Um, so, here's the plan. I was thinking we could go make a base really close by. Just over here. Let me take you there now. So, literally, we're coming up to it now. <laughs> it's really close to our other base. It's just this rock here. I think this could be quite a fun idea to put a base on top of a rock. <laughs> if it allows us. I think it should. I think this counts as land. I hope it does. Um, and we could put a bridge going up to it. I think this could be quite fun. So, I think what's best for me to do, guys is to go into super fast build mode and let's just get this base built, shall we? Let's get to it.
Well guys, the base is complete, and I think I've accidentally made a monastery. Now, for this build guys, I've used the Klinger Additional Rustic Building mod, along with a few smaller mods that have all come together to create this monastery. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be a monastery honestly, but it ended up looking like that. I was going for a hut originally, and it ended up looking like this, but you know what? It's turned out pretty well. So why don't we do a little base tour together right now? Uh, what the hell is that over there? What on earth? Can you guys see that in the distance? Oh my god. What is that? It's got like two giant antlers. Okay, we've got to fly over to that. The base tour is going to have to wait. We've got to fly over to that. Okay, where was it? Somewhere over here. What on earth is this? Oh my goodness me. Is this one of my mods? It has to be one of my mods. I have no idea what mod this is. But that is terrifying. I don't want to get too close to it because uh, I will just fall off my mount. Is it aggressive? I don't really know. All I know is I want one. Let me quickly go into photo mode so we can have a closer look at this thing. Let me just scooch on over. What is going on here then? Oh, what are you? You're like an upside down drag. Are you upside down? Is it dead? Are you okay, buddy? What are you doing upside down? Is that normal for you? It's it's like a sea dragon. I think that's what this is, like a sea dragon. I wonder how you tame it. Anyway, let me get back to the base tour. <laughs> now, where was I before I was rudely interrupted by that sea dragon? Oh my god, I won it. Uh, so yeah, let's take you on the tour. So, this is the bridge leading up to the monastery, which, uh, obviously unintentional that it ended up looking like a monastery. It just, it just has. <laughs> I went, I was going for a hut, and it ended up with a big pointy spire and just looking like one. So, that's what it is, I guess. This is also part of the rustic build mod, this plant pot. Uh, and you can plant like your usual stuff in the plant pot here, but I decided to place in a tree from another mod. I believe this is the nature's bench mod. You can place trees for a small cost of like five wood. It makes for really good decoration. So really pleased I've got those mods. So if we come on down, we've got these lovely pillars here, these rope pillars uh, along with these curvy things i don't know what these are called when you open up the rustic wall if you scroll through each of the pieces you eventually come to this curvy piece which i love and i've used it a ton on this build so if we walk on down the walkway here and i'm hoping that the sun stays up long enough for me to show you otherwise i'll have to wait till morning <laughs> Just to show you the rest of the base, but let's start with the outside. So I've got loads of these pots in places. So again, that's from the rustic build mod. Uh, very good mod, in my opinion. They, they also had these in the rustic build mod, but I didn't really know how to use them. You're meant to plant in them, uh, but it won't let me. I was going to say it won't let me open it, but it just let me open it. So apparently I can. I just was dumb earlier. <laughs> So we've got a walkway here that goes around the whole monastery. I did place some trees down. As you can see, there's some plants on the rockeries here. And a big tree here, which I love. Coming on round, there's the sea dragon in the distance again. Uh, this is the back of the monastery. There's a door here, so you can get in and out of this side as well. I decided not to put a docking area on this side, but it kind of needs one. So I might change my mind on that and add one in. And I don't know why, but I get a bit of lag when I look this way. I don't know what's going on over here that's giving me lag. Maybe it's this this bed. So this bed is also part of the rustic build mod. Uh, it, a rope bed. And you can lay on it. <laughs> you can lay on it and you have a cooler part. Look at the cat. The ca Is the cat also doing it? Oh my god, has the cat also got his hands behind its head? Hang on a minute. Okay, no, maybe not. That's its mutton chops. I honestly thought that its hands were behind its head as well. So yeah, really fun addition. I do like that. And then coming all the way around, we've obviously got more plants here. And I think this is what's causing the lag. Something over here. Maybe the boat? 
Because, yeah, this way, fine. This way is nice and smooth. This way, not so fine. Maybe it's the barrels? Maybe if I delete these barrels. Huh, I honestly don't know. I don't know what's causing the lag. Let's just never look that way again. <laughs> Let's just look this way. So, I've also added these hanging vines. These are, like, maybe my favourite feature. These hanging vines here, they're awesome. I've also put them across the front of the build here. As you can see over there, I've put some hanging vines coming down from the decking. I love them so much, I'm literally going to use them on all my builds now. Look, it's even up here. I also added, like, a little bit of a higher walkway up here that goes around the actual monastery at the top. So... This is quite a nice little feature, and I've got another bed here, of course, so I can lay in the sun, get a nice tan, look at the view, and the sea dragon. Okay, guys, it actually got dark, <laughs> so I've had to wait till morning to show you the rest of the base. So, let's go on inside here. Wow, my head actually hits the top here. Look at that. Not quite a big enough door here, unfortunately, but it works. So inside here, I've used quite a lot of the furniture from the Rustic Build mod. So this is all part of the Rustic Build mod in the middle. Uh, this forge over here is also part of the Rustic Build mod. Now let me show you the plant workbench here, because this is where you can get all the vines from. So this is called the JVH Landscaping Bench. So that's the name of the mod. And if you look in here, for a very small cost of 5 fibre, you can make these hanging vines, which are awesome. You can also make flowers. You can also make temperate plants, tropical plants. You can make all the plants. But yeah, honestly, I think that might be my favorite mod that I've installed. We got an upgrade station here, which I haven't used yet. I don't even know how to use it. That's another mod. I've honestly got so many mods. I don't even know what to do with them all. Uh, styling table. I believe this makes some fancy headwear. In fact, let's put in some fiber and see what these look like. So let's do antler crown. And that is my antler crown. Not a bad look, I guess. I mean, it's it's nice. What on earth is this noise out here so loud? You are so loud, Mr. Duck. Do you mind? Oh, wait, it's a dodo. What's a dodo doing here? Why is there a dodo swimming in the ocean making a racket? Okay, well, again, over here, I've utilized the pot with the plant in. So the plant, you just literally, look at this, you literally can just place it anywhere. And you've got loads of different variants, <laughs> which is pretty cool. You can literally just place it on the table like this if you wanted to. Uh, not the best look, though. Now, over here, I decided to expand the house out a tiny bit so I could have like a little storage zone here. So I've got a big old wardrobe here to put all my stuff in. You can put loads of stuff in this wardrobe. It's insane. Now, if we head on upstairs, now the stairs again, all part of the same mod along with the railings. I did, I, you might have seen me change my mind in the super fast build mode where I had the stairs going up this way, but I had to change them to going up this way. That was literally just because I was bashing my head on the way up and I couldn't get in properly. So yeah, I had to move the stairs going up into the middle, but actually it works out really well because you get to come straight in to the middle of the room, which I love. So we don't have rugs yet in Ark, unfortunately, and I don't know if there's any mods that have rugs. I mean, probably, and I probably have some installed without even realizing it, but I've used a giant canvas. This is a giant canvas. I don't know what mod this is, <laughs> but there's a giant canvas on the floor emulating a rug instead. We've got our lovely double bed here. Let's see what the animation is when we lay on it. It's just the bed animation. Okay, so it's just the rope bed where you look a bit different. We've got our hanging plants up here. Again, the hanging plants are all from this workbench here, which is the JVH landscaping bench. Now, there's also this bench here, which just looks like a table, but it's actually nature's bench. And you can make all sorts of stuff with it. You can make these uh, variety pack of bushes. You can basically do everything that that mod can do. You can do on this mod as well. So they're very similar, but they just have different trees and bushes in each one. So it's worth having both, in my opinion. Uh, these bushes, for instance, are from the Nature's Bench mod. So this bush here, 
which works really well in that pot, is from the Nature's Bench. Now, there's another mod here I want to try out. So this is Cliffin's Wardrobe, where you can make functional capes, uh, apparently. So maybe this cape will actually sway. Remember that cape earlier <laughs> didn't sway at all? Well, this one might. Fiber and hide. Do I have fiber and hide? Okay, I've just gone out to get some hide, so let's put that in. Now, shall we try this cape and hope that it actually works? Let's do it. Okay, it's equipped. Now, does it sway? Does it sway? Oh, we have some movement. Oh my god, I think it sways. A little bit, at least. It's swaying a little bit. Okay, now it's going up. Okay, the physics on it are a little bit weird. But at least it moves, unlike the last one. The dodo's up here now. What is this dodo doing? <laughs> I think it wants to be part of my monastery. Are you a monk now, buddy? Well, I do like it. I wonder if we can make a, a monk outfit for ourselves, since now we're living in a monastery. I mean, there's so many things here. Look. Assassin boots. Assassin pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much. We can look like... Oh, wait a minute. Wizard? Oh, my goodness me. What have I done? What do I look like? Wow. Uh... Well, now we look like a very rich monk, that's for sure. This one's not too bad, I guess. I kind of look like a monk, kind of don't. I want a monk look, that's what I'm looking for. I definitely got a bit carried away there looking through those, but you get the idea, there are a lot of skins in there, so quite a good mod to have. That's Cliffin's wardrobe. Over here, I've got my royal toilet, of course, where I can sit and do my business. Hang on a minute, guys. I'm inside. How did this happen? Guys, I'm inside the toilet. I'm literally inside the toilet. Oh my god, Mimi, we are completely stuck. Just flush me down here. Put me out of my misery. I want to drown in here now. <laughs> oh god. Okay, there must be a way to get out of this. Maybe we pick up the toilet? Okay, that's all we needed to do, was pick up the toilet. Okay, well, the toilet's not going back down. I guess we're just gonna pee and poo in the sea. I mean, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the plan. And, well, guys, that is the monastery. I feel like this is the perfect base for us to now go off and do our adventures. I think the only other thing that we need, actually, is, like, a dinosaur pen. Because, at the moment, our dinosaurs are all the way over here. If I get on my flyer here. At the moment, we're over here. Which isn't too far away from the monastery. Look, the monastery's just there. <laughs> so, I mean, we could just leave all our dinos here if we wanted to. I mean, that's where they're staying for now. And, well, guys, I think we can call the episode there. I mean, I'm sorry that it's been such a short episode this time. Uh, next time, I'll make sure it's long. Maybe next time we can go have a look at that dragon properly. Uh, probably end up dying to it. Not gonna lie, if it wants to attack us. But maybe we can try taming it. That would be fun. If you have enjoyed today's episode, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below your favourite part, and why not subscribe? It's completely free and helps me out a ton. Now, love you guys to death, and I'll see you in the next episode.